Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our campaign as the Seleucids in RTR Imperium Sorectum. And now we are pretty much at war with all of Greece, <laughs> which is glorious. I've got to remember that Heraclea Pontos needs to upgrade because it didn't tell us that last episode. And you can see the amount of cities in India now as well, which is glorious, which is why we are, of course, recruiting um, a new army there. We're also... So, yeah, Zranka. Yeah, we're, we're sieging down Zranka. So, oh, sorry, we're recruiting a new army in here. We're also going to send that army. I've decided we're going to send that army from Karakata through the mountains to try and come down here to deal with that. Um, and also, yeah, we, we want to get into these little areas and start building a little bit of a trading hub down here as well. It would be nice to take these northern bits as well, just so that we've got something for some of our ports to trade with across here because they can't trade at the minute. Ptolemies are there still, uh, but that's fine. And then, of course, Greece is just going to make us insanely rich because it's full of large cities. They're all Greek culture as well. That is going to be fun. Um, and is there any battles that we need to do? I can't quite remember, even though we're just playing straight on. Um, I wonder whether we can leave there. We'll try next turn. We'll give it one turn. We're not building anything, though, are we? That's problematic. So, because we need to uh, repair everything here. And they've got a Torque Anger. Let's get rid of that. Don't want that. Uh, because we want our own. Let's build the Shrine to Hera. Then let's get the Execution Square. Let's get all that rebuilt. If it can, fantastic it can do. Now, they're moving. They're going. You've gone. You're coming down for retraining. You're going up. You've moved. And Tyacus is still in there getting the last few men retrained. Good. You're getting a few retrains in there as well. So I don't think, unless we've got any other battles like Zaranka and stuff, I don't think there's anything for us to do in terms of retraining. How many turns left at Zaranka? Two turns. We might as well wait then now. Uh, and like I say, I want that army to be ready to go rolling into the east as well. Uh, anywhere else? Oh, it was uh, this. So let's go for it. Let's start the episode with a bit of a bang. What is that? Just an Akontistai? Fine. This definitely... Bithynian should definitely be uh, turning to Greek now, surely. So let's have a look. Only 10%. Only one neighboring region is Greek. Oh, okay, yeah. A lot of these places aren't Greek. But I'm hoping that, like, some of these places are not getting turned across. They should still all be Greek up to a certain point. Like, here, Persinus needs a bit of a Greek push, doesn't it? And then we'll start bleeding elsewhere. So that's where we need to kind of have a look for. Are you okay to leave here, my friend? Not quite. Let's get the Shrine to Hera, though. And let's go for this army. They might fail the ambush against us. But this is going to be quite a brutal battle. Come on, Hermias. You have tried once already to beat these guys. It is time to try again. The remnants, the final Galatian remnants in here, causing devastation. Let's get rid of them. Here we are. It is grim. Yes! I pledge to you. Come on, Hermias. You've been defeated by these fools once before. Not again. Not again. Unfortunately, it is a uh, phalangite-based army, this one. Um, so, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. But anyway, it's fine. And uh, let's get the Greek archers in here. Elephants will only use you sparingly. But we could, like I say, we're probably going to send this army across to Greece. So, yeah, we might as well use them. Let's have a bit of fun, shall we, guys? Let's have a bit of fun. What? what why are they set up like that? <laughs> What's going on there? Let's go. Let's run. Missile units there. Hypastis. Let's get you over here. And uh, let's face the wrath of the elephants, my friends. So, uh, let's go. And let's speed it up. 
Phalangites. They don't, like I say, they hate to, uh, they hate to attack Phalangites head on. So we're going to have to just force the issue. Go, 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 man, go. Go, 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 go. All of you guys actually get off your phalanx and start running. And let's get the high pass this around this flank. Because it looks like, like, what are they doing? They're going for the, go, 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 run, guys, run, run. Right, cavalry, let's get you around this way. And elephants, we'll probably send you around this way. Uh, and looks like this is it. Remember, guys, this is a Celtic army, so it's going to be a difficult one. Uh, you boys, let's get you up forwards. You boys come forward as well. Celtic armies are always good. Remember, guys, always very good. They've got naked warriors and stuff here as well, so we want to avoid zooming in if, if possible. Look at them run away. Come on, the fools. Right, let's try and uh, try and squish them then. If they're going to keep running, then... Oh, they've already started routing. Looks like the elephants are doing their job already without even engaging. Nice. Come on, men. Let's go. Go, 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 go. It's a race. It's a race to... Who can surround... Who can surround them quicker? Oh, my God. Oh, my day. Oh, my days. Yes. Yes. <laughs> who knew? All you need is some elephants. I guess that it historically is what happened with the Galatians. They, they saw the elephants and ran. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's very uh, historically accurate right now. <laughs> Just absolute chaos over here. Chaos. Come on, Ellie's. I know, like I said, it doesn't really matter too much about the Ellie's because they're going to... Uh, yeah, they're frightened by elephants. They'll be frightened by all this cavalry very soon. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's what we like to see, boys. Let's go. Who knew? All you need is a few elephants. And everything turns out all right. Now, it is a rebel army, so I don't think we need to chase them down. We should be able to end the battle, and the rebel army should die. I don't know whether they've chained that in the mod, but that's how it happens in vanilla. So I'm not 100% certain, but we'll see. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys, anyway. Here we are. And a glorious victory, it has to be said. Hardly lost any men. Don't even really need retraining, but it's probably still worth it, just uh, just in case. Uh, any soldiers we can grab for anywhere else to, to fill this garrison? Probably from here. So let's go. I'm kind of willing to leave Bythinion to its public order struggles. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not really bothered. So let's go over to Pergamon. And let's uh, also try and get some of the ships back, because we need the ships back. Uh, from at least one set of the ships, anyway. Back to Pergamon to start ferrying troops. And uh, I think that was the only battle, wasn't it? Ermayas, uh, good commander now as well. Good. Let's end the turn, then. Ah, yes, we found another settlement in this little corner. But, yeah, there's, there's so many settlements here in India. It's good to see. We've got... Well, we, we can just methodically go through every single one if we want. But there goes the Antigonids again, having a bit of a bit of a cheeky little time, enjoying themselves, sieging down the settlement. Oh, come on, Ptolemies, don't be don't be dumb. <laughs> oh my God, Sparta did not even put up a fight. Sparta, Sparta went out with an absolute whimper. Oh dearie, dearie me, that's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> mercy. And they want to give Ellis. No. <laughs> I know you've only got one settlement back, but the Peloponnese is going to be ours very soon, and I don't care for having a protectorate. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? They've got no cavalry, which makes me think that we can take them. But we are also down to pretty much the last dregs of our army. Um, right, Andragoras the Cruel, the man behind our reforms. Let's see how well some of your reformed units do, my friend. Hopefully we'll have a hill. It looks hilly, so maybe we'll have a hill. I will see you there, guys. A battle is never an easy thing to face. Second breakfast. breakfast. Never mind. Time enough to feast when we've driven 
I mean, there's a bit of a hill. Back to the kennel they go. Oh, well, I say bit of a hill. It's kind of like quite a big slope away from the road. See, can we see the settlement? No, unfortunately not. Nice little uh, Stonehenge over here in the middle of, you know, <laughs> Armenian land or Cappadocian land, should I say. Let's get right on this hill. This is where we're going to go. Defend here. I mean, our, our tiny amount of archers can, can fire. <laughs> and uh, the rest of the infantry can stand behind and do their jobs. You guys get there. Ready to fire. And they might just overwhelm us like we've seen them try and do before. But I'm hoping we can win with our cavalry. So let's speed it up. Let's see where their army is. And we'll adjust to where they come from. It's like they're coming from down the hill. There they are. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway. Keep coming, my friends. Keep coming. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, my friends. And of course, it's Cappadocia. Crappadocia. So they will not be hard enough. Definitely not. I mean, you keep adjusting to try and flank me. I'll just adjust my lines. Like, it's not really... You're not doing anything special... You're just being annoying. <laughs> so here they come. So they're going to fire their javis. Fine. But let's... Uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're just being incredibly dumb as usual. So let's just do that. Like, <laughs> what's the point? What's the point of them trying to do this shit? There they go. Right, we're going to go over that side. And we're going to get you guys over this side. What are you? Asian Light Spearman. How do you like a cataphract to the face? <laughs> you idiots! What absolute imbeciles. Honestly. Well done, boys. Clever work. Good work. You've literally been annihilated in one second. How do you feel about that? Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Turns out they don't like the cataphract to the face very much at all, I've got to say. So, shall we... Uh, uh, let's get into them quickly before they all run away. Because I do want to fully destroy this army. And like we've seen before, our men are so slow at chasing down the enemy when they want to be. You guys, let's come forward. Uh, but what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll send like you guys that way. And then these three can be the, uh, the charging ones. That's the ones with the most they've got left. Oh, the poor archers are going to die, but who cares? Poor fucking archers. <laughs> This singular two... The two men are just having a bit of fun over there. Right, let's charge these guys. And if we kill the general... It's very likely that they'll break anyway. Uh, in fact, Cataphracts will go for a slightly different charge into the Caucasian Hillman. Oh, look at that. That's quite a brutal charge. Let's go for the Cataphracts then. They should all, all get scared by the Cataphracts. Yeah, instant route. Instant route. Right, back out then, my friends. Back out. Let these guys escape. How are we doing in terms of chasing them down? I think it's... Oh, they came back. They came back. <laughs> Get this guy out of there. He's dead. No. No, our fallen brother. He's died. He's died a horrible death. Right, come this way, boys. Come this way. Out of the way of my charging men, please. Out of the way of the men. Get out the way! Get out the way! We're charging! Come on! Yeah. Instant. Instant evaporation of the Asian Light Spearman. <laughs> nice. Oh, they came back. They decided to be dumb. Well done. Well done. Right. There we go. Straight in there. Broken them. Should give us time to... Uh, Kill a few of them as well. Into the Caucasian Hillman. How many have we killed anyway? Still got a few to kill. So, can't be too cocky. 
Still got these little units, which are just so annoying. Just go away. Like, because they'll run away, probably, and they'll just be really, really annoying. Go, men, go! Speed everything up. Are they going to try and withdraw? Right, let's go after them. Uh, you guys go after those. There we go. Let's get them. Kill them all. And how many? Well, should be enough. Should be enough to kill them fully. Fantastic. Good victory. I, I thought it would be harder than that, honestly. But morale, guys, is key. And they didn't even have a general. Silly fools. Silly fools. Cappadocia once again showing its supreme, supreme 400 IQ level. Here we are. And a great victory once again for Andragoras. He's not even that good a commander. Five stars is not even that good. But uh, he's fine, isn't he? Right, you guys get into there to Bithynion that is rioting slightly. Only a little bit of rioting, you know. Tiny little bit. What did they damage? They damaged this, which is another 5%, so that will be 61. Hmm. Might have to leave an archer or two. Don't want to leave these guys, though, because they're quite good. We'll leave the Galatian Spearman bloke. See if he'll help out. 61. That's 5, then. And then that should be another 5. So it should be happy next turn. Famous last words, though. We have said that a few times about some people, <laughs> and then they're not at all. Right, then. Well, it seems we have a new general. We've got Zoilos of Pergamon. And uh, Big Zoilos has a nice, cheeky little army, doesn't he? So, let's get to here. Let's get... Uh, I am slightly worried, though, we'll lose Zoilos to the seas, which is very possible. Get in there. Guys, get in there. And where do we want to go? I think we go onto this island. Because it's close. And just get off there. Just go onto the island and invade this one with this army. So we've got another uh, area of attack for the fools that are the Antigonids. Let's come back from Messene as well. And let's get this guy in Messene. Yes, I, I don't mind about leaving the siege. We definitely can't beat that army, at least. We also need to have a look at Sparta. Get you guys, as many of you guys, retrained as possible. Uh, and in Githion, we do need to get that Megas Hippodromos. So let's go for that one straight away. Uh, let's stop recruiting them. Get out of the city for a second, we'll probably swap over. So you guys come down here. So we're just taking a little moment on the Peloponnese to relax for a second. Regather some of our forces. Well, the one problem here is we don't have the full armories in Sparta, which is unfortunate. Sorry, in, in uh, Githion. But let's get rid of this in Sparta as well. And what did they build temple-wise? They built the Temple of Ares, which is experience, which is actually not too bad. Uh, oh, yeah, we, we need... Uh, are you happy? Yes, you are. We need these boys out of the city for now. But it's surprising Githion became a huge city before Sparta did. But anyway, AI going to AI, isn't it? As usual. We'll get you guys all in here. And so, yeah, we can't actually retrain the cataphracts or the elephants or anything like that. But that's fine. Not too bad. Uh, recruitment report. Ant Antioch, of course, still going the men. Sardis got the elephant as well. We're getting that extra man. And it's probably worth at this point. Although, yeah, sending you, Antiochus, to Pergamon to get all these guys gold. Oh, we don't want Artemios. We want Antiochus. And like I say, we want a, a good general. But I think we are sending one across to Pergamon, aren't we? So that's fine. So a lot of retraining going on in this region right now. But uh, we are getting ready to uh, build up to a lot of fighting going on in the future, of course. Uh, no more retraining can be done here. Once that, once that extra theory of Thoroi is done, we'll head out from there. 
Githion, of course, and then Sardis. Yeah, you're still training. Yeah, that's all the retraining as well. Right, let's have a look at this. We've got rioting, and it's only in by Thinion, so that's good. Olympia's besieged, and we had a few people die. So Astabarkos, the thinker. Abderos, no! Not Abderos. Never Abderos! Uh, Ambronicus over here. And we also destroyed Sparta, didn't we? Yes! Sparta, Sparta's dead. They went out with a whimper, didn't they? The poor fools. The poor fools. The poor fools. They went out with a bit of a whimper. And we, oh, again, we're getting so many new family members. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Of course, we've got the construction. So let's have a look at our troops and where we can start moving them. Again, we need all that to be repaired. So we'll probably wait one turn for that. Wait, why is it not being repaired? Like, I'm sure it's... I don't know. Well, like I say, one of these areas we wanted to be a recruitment hub. Armavir is only a minor city. But it's got really good population growth. So I'm thinking we go for Armavir as the city that we want that. So let's get that in there. Now, we've got you to move as well. Oh, we've got a draw-out battle to do here. That's a fat army as well. But we've also got what could be described as the fattest of armies you've ever seen. Let's come a bit closer. And uh, uh, it's just full of absolute shit munchers. Come on, Armenia. Start recruiting some proper troops. Uh, let's get that final temple in there. And then let's get across to Antioch for our retraining with uh, Andragoras, the angry man. Andragoras, the angry man. Andragoras, the angry man. So, armies-wise, let's have a think. Because we had three armies up here, didn't we? So now we have one going to Antioch, one up there, and Antiochus' army all the way down here getting retrained. We've also got um, Ermayas on the way for an army that's going to go to Greece. We've also got this army, which is now going to siege down uh, Karkathiokerta. Over here in India, how is that looking? We're still only on 90% <laughs> public order, so very unlikely we're ever going to be able to leave here. You've moved all the way up there. Let's, have, let's just have one little cheeky look up here just to make sure there's nothing... Up in that far north. No. And you can start, like, coming down the side here, really. So, like I say, I want one guy nearby, just to, uh, nearby to them, just to make sure that we are, you know, uh, seeing all the cities that we can take. Uh, we also have the army at Karakata, which we are moving now. Um, and these guys... So, let's go. Let's see. Can we take the... Hoplites out. Out. We kind of can. Yeah, good. And then we've got these guys. We'll probably be able to take them out as well. And then let's see how many men we need in each city. So we've just got so many armies. It's so hard to keep track of what's going on everywhere. But uh, I think we're doing a decent job of it so far anyway. Uh, we'll get you across. Let's see. Will that be enough? close. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera then. And then the rest of you, let's join this army. And uh, let's go up this way. And hopefully you don't get stuck by any cities. Which you tend to do a lot of. Uh, look at the trade going that way. Bactra Besalion making some cash. How much is uh, Bactra Zariaspa? 11,000 now. Wow. Some money coming out of that place, isn't there? Some cash. Some very nice cash. And then we're going to have two more two more archers. And then this army is going to set off. Do we have anyone apart from Perseus? I mean, we'll probably take Perseus. I think that's the option. Um, and then up here in the north, we've got no one, have we? Now down here for the Ptolemies. You're going. I'm hoping they don't have a really big... Oh, it's all the uh, the Nubian soldiers, wasn't it? I hope they don't spawn another one of their uh, their guys. <laughs> that would be terrible. Now, 
Problem being, if we take that out, we might, you know, have a bit of a an issue in the fact that we've regicided them. But I, I'm not bothered about Berenike Pankirisos. That's absolutely rubbish. It's a terrible settlement, so it's really not, not worrying at all. Uh, so we've got guys on the ships. We've got both of our armies up here retraining, which is great. Don't mind that at all. This one especially needed some very heavy retraining straight away. Ready. We've got you ready to move anyone if they need moving. Uh, we've got you on the ships coming. Antiochus getting retrained. You're coming back. I think that's everyone. I don't. I just don't want to forget anyone. That's the one thing. Um, so looking at our bit of a scope if we go out to the main map in terms of our building i'm sure we were building we weren't really building in the new places we've taken over and a lot of the time those are the places that you need to build in more see like up here in bactria would be good to build a little bit more but yeah we're, we're back to not building that much everywhere so we are gonna have to go back to the list the list of doom um but yeah Sparta, let's see. I mean, Sparta can probably just... I mean, it's got it's pretty much built everything it can for a large city. So, let's also build the recruitment hub in Sparta. I think that'll be fine. Ellis, as much as you are close by to, to death... Let's go for the... What's the temple they've gone for here? Temple of Heracles. Let's get rid of that. And let's go for our own temple. Temple of Hera. Uh, let's get that back up. Go for Kamach. Kamach over here. You're not the best of places. <laughs> what's the temple they've gone for in here as well? A farming temple, which I don't believe we can build. So, hmm. Let's also delete that. It's quite a happy place, so I don't mind deleting that. And also go for the temple of Hera there. Good. So, not that. Not Unfortunately, not that anymore. Uh, Gymnias over here. Let's go for the roads, because it doesn't even have roads. Uh, Olympia. Let's just queue in something like the roads just in case uh Kiropolis up here definitely worth the paved roads around Bactria the paved roads are so valuable because there's so much trade Camisa up here uh probably worth going for something like actually let's go for law let's get that one in there again do they have a temple that we can't build with no that's actually great we've got our options there good uh we've got Kerasus up here as well Probably worth going for, like, the communal farming in there. Just a bit of extra. 7% population growth, mainly probably from slavery as well. Alexandria, Caucasia. Let's have a look. Probably, yeah, practice range for that bit of law. Lithinos, Pergos. Let's go for those public baths. Uh, Pimolisa up here. Let's go for that extra inland trading. Berenike, Dieres. Uh, as much as this is really, really bad settlement, let's start upgrading the cavalry bits so we can actually get cavalry if we want to. Also, we should think about moving all those troops. I'm sure we're ready to move them now. Because that was probably the last army we need to move. Uh, and then Commander Pontos. Let's go for those public baths. Bactria Basalion. Let's also go for the stables for that extra bit of law. And then Oxiana. Doesn't have a governor, but let's go for the public baths. Maruka up here. Let's also go for that extra bit of law. Gangra, let's go for the population growth. Heraclea Pontos, yeah, they needed to upgrade. I forgot about that. Polyrenia over here. Let's go for that extra bit of law. Uh, Bactra Zariaspa making 11,000 a turn. Insane. And it's, it's losing 1,800 due to corruption. But honestly, I'm going to go the Taiki line because, yeah, the extra trade we can get from there is going to be crazy. Berenike, uh, Trogoditike. Let's go for that extra law as well there. Uh, Eumenion. Let's go law. <laughs> There's not that much to build in these. 
uh, Cretan towns. I thought they would be a bit more upgraded when we got there. That's one of the good things with uh, 0.6 is they're going to be owned by, you know, the uh, the nations on here. So by the time you get there, they will be upgraded. They're not just going to be small towns, uh, which, of course, don't make that much money. Um, let's go for the farming in Metropolis. To Chomko Selkis. Let's go for that extra bit of lore as well. Uh, Dorylion. Let's go for the public baths. Bit of extra population growth. Uh, Parnassos. Let's go for the aqueduct. Halicarnassos. Let's go for that one. Elephantine Syene. Let's go for the Agora. Uh, Tyana. Let's go for the Academy. Uh, Megala Apollonope. Uh, Apollonope. Apollonope. Mothis as well. Let's go for the probably the public baths down here. More growth. Start upgrading some of these places. Palmyra. Let's go for that extra law. Zella. Let's go for the extra law as well. Uh, Antiochia Margini. Let's go for the Spice Road, of course. If we've got that option, let's go. Always go for that because it's so, so good. Uh, Alexandria Susia over here. Um, There's not a huge amount. That's too amazing for you. So let's just go for that one. Delos. Again, not really amazing. So large temple of Hera. Thebes. Let's go with the shrine to Taiki. Bostra. Let's go for that spice road then that we, we've not uh, put that in before. Ptolemaeus Hermu. Go for the aqueduct. And then Pergamon. So Pergamon is not really like don't really need to build that much it doesn't make much money but it doesn't need to because it's our recruitment hub we could go for the catapult range but honestly i don't think that's worth it so let's just go for the paved roads it just gives a bit of extra movement for the people moving in and out of there doesn't it uh zesty just get some wooden walls my friend that's all you need shrine to taiki and naxos and then anywhere else we can just get like a cheap shrine to taiki yes perfect well, let's, uh, let's click the end turn then. Some good movements. And uh, let's see what happens. We're getting idle reports now. So that means some cities have been idle for quite some time. Uh, which is quite annoying. Look at the trade, though, in Babylonia and Mesopotamia. Unreal. Unreal bit of trade. And we've got our general. Our extra general for Antiochus. Or is that our general to take to Greece? That's the one question. <laughs> Because we need to. Oh, there's the Antigonids going and having a bit of a bit of a blast again. I don't mind. I really don't mind. Oh, yeah, we were going to do that battle. But probably now it's worked out better because we're the defender. And we have some really good troops. The Agira Speed has reformed swordsmen. Um, so what I'm thinking, maybe the Agira Speed has reformed swordsmen should go in the middle. And the phalangites on the flank. I know that's the opposite of what it really should be. But it might force them to actually attack us in the middle. They do have these little Armenian noble archers, which are quite good. They've got a lot of horse archers. So what we're going to have to try and do, lots of them, in fact. And lots of cavalry. Armenian cataphract archers as well. We do have our own cataphracts. But what we're going to have to do, and of course the these boys is try and kill all of their their horse archers with our own archers and just let their archers fire at us. But hopefully we get a good, nice defensive position. I would love a cliffside, but we're on farmland, so that's very unlikely. But I will see you there, guys. Here we are, full of trees. Full of trees. Ah, oh, Why must you harm me so with all these filthy trees around us? Well, let's get our Agira Speeders boys there. Let's get our Agira Speeders on that side as well. And let's see what the AI does, because it's going to probably confuse them slightly. I don't mind confusing the AI, though. That's that's what I like to do, my friends. That's what I like to do. And uh, get you guys. We'll get you far enough back so that the cataphract and uh, cavalry archers and stuff can't fuck with you too much. So, yeah, I think they're not going to like this very much because I have the uh, the phalangites on the flanks. But I don't care what they like. <laughs> uh, right, again, let's get up there. 
Let's get our uh, cavalry forward. You can go there. Archers, let's get you in front. Uh, and they're coming in from that way. So we do need to be slightly wary of that, but that's fine. And these boys can still, can just stay back really still. Same as the cavalry. I don't want the cavalry getting killed for no reason. So they're trying to go around the flanks with the horse archers. Don't like that at all. Terrible, terrible, uh, terrible people, these horse archers, you know. Horrible, horrible. They eat babies, basically, is what I'm saying. That's what, that's what our propaganda will say anyway. This is why they must all be killed. What is this? So this is the cataphract archers and the Armenian horse archers. So, like I said, I'm not too bothered by these guys potentially being charged in the flank. Because what it will do, it will drag them into actually the fight. Although, I am bothered about them uh, taking losses to the archers just because of the fact that they are turned. So, let's go for that. Uh, cavalry wise so keep firing men keep firing straight at their horse archers let's get back slightly as well so we're not firing right in the back of our men so yeah everyone fire at them everyone fire at them oh what have we got we've got the same situation over here all these horse archers doing this so let's where's the edge of the map that's the edge of the map so they can't actually get further than that so, let's go with that one. These guys are all on fire at will, aren't they? Fantastic. Yes. Good. So, the cataphract archers are pretty much dead. Yeah, they're dying. Shoot them, then. Here they come. Now, of course, the Agira speeders aren't going to be so good against if they charge with their royal bodyguards. But, like I say, it's fine. We've got our cavalry behind to support. Just in case. Come on. We should be able to kill a lot of these boys quite easily. These uh, neo Cretan archers are so much better than the Greek archers as well. Missile attack 13 already and no experience. So much better. That's why they've been able to take out the cataphract archers so quickly. And what do we have over here? We've got more horse, horse archers coming in. Oh, yes. We've got the jabbies throwing them at the general. Go on, boys. They're going to go for the charge, but they've just absolutely been shredded by the jabbies. And that was a terrible charge. Oh, dearie me. Poor general. He's going to get absolutely ruined. If we can fire at those Armenian horse archers, that'd be great now. So they're going against the Aguirre speeders, but it's, it's probably not going to work. So we've got to use our archers to the best of our abilities here and just try and take out as many horse archers as possible with them. Here come the Caucasian hillmen. Uh, guys, stay there. All right, let's go. I, I don't want to wait around any longer for these fools. I don't know what they're doing, trying to come all the way over this way. But whatever it is, it's a shit plan. Shit plan! Made by absolute shit houses. So let's go. Get them. Go, go, go. Kill them. You guys get there. How are our archers and everything doing over here? Quite well. Shoot them. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't be... Uh... There's one of the generals dead. Good. Right, cavalry. Is it time for us to go? Oh, here they come. That might be him dead, though. Right, let's get forward. Let's try and deal with these uh, these cataphracts and cavalry archers. Let's get around this way, then. Absolute chaos going on right now. Right, let's go uh, through the middle of the Asian Light Spearman like we know we can do. And you guys keep firing on the archers. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be just brutal once again. Brace, men. Brace. Should be able to just run through them. Come on. Should have been better than that, surely. Broke them, at least. You guys stay on guard mode. So, you yeah. And just kill as much of this cavalry as possible. Because, like I said, we don't really have 
the best of uh, options against uh, the horse archers and stuff. So if we can come forward, what are you? If we can, like, engage you, that'd be great. Let's get there. And let's go for a little cheeky charge in the side of them. Oh, let's go for the general, actually. He wants to chill and do nothing. Good. Come on, the general. Kill him. Oh, my God. We've absolutely just started shredding these boys. Turn around. Turn around. You just got shredded by some more bodyguards. I didn't realize. Oh, there was... Yeah, there was two generals, wasn't there? All right. We'll come forward. You guys go after them. Uh, yeah, another general dead. Good. Right. They've got all their horse archers over that way now. So, archers, as much as you don't have that much armor ammo... Gonna have to get you up this way. They were killing them. You guys are fighting as well. Let's get into the back of those boys. Get back this way. In fact, go back for your, for your. I I just don't think we need to use the uh, the special units at this point in time. I think it'd be kind of pointless. You guys get in the back of there. Our gear speeders here have taken some damage, mainly from cavalry charges from both sides. So let's get them actually set up properly in a line again. And uh, they can do what they want. They've got a few units over this way, but it's all just archer units. So it's not really a, a concern. Um, all right, straight into them then. Straight in. Straight through, my men. Straight through, friends. Let's go. Yeah, routed them good into the Asian Light Spearmen. Yeah, touch them and they just run. Good. Let's get the Armenian Noble Archers then. Are they all withdrawing? Yes, they are. That's unfortunate. Because I would have liked to have killed this whole unit. Especially the people in the city. Because I wanted to, of course, you know, take the city. How many have we killed? Yeah, there's no way. The city will still be theirs, unfortunately. But let's keep coming forward. Trying to kill as many as we can. So, you guys get them. You guys get them. You guys get these guys. You guys get these guys. And the general. Uh, yeah. Well, they, they've just... They've escaped with quite a few men, really. The enemy army is in I know. I know. Drive them from the Kill these. Every little helps. Every little helps. Kill them. Don't think there's anything else we want to do. Good. Well, it was a good victory nonetheless. Our Aguirre Speedheads did take a bit of a hammering, to be fair. Mainly because I put them in a vulnerable position. But it did force their cavalry into fighting. And we still, you know, we killed one-to-one -one ratio pretty much for all our men, which is great. And they obviously lost a lot more. Um, unfortunately, not going to be enough to take the city. But they might come back for some more bit of... A bit a more, a little morsel, a, a, a little taste of the action. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory and honor, Victory and honor of course. And it looks like they all retreated into the city. Best place to deal with horse archers, though, to be fair, in the city. And look at that Anatolia on the top map now. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it beautiful? Fantastic. Oh, hello, Rebels. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Yep, going for the going for the siege, are you rebels? Interesting. And Zranker is ours now as well. Let's enslave, of course. Uh, make sure we build in Zranker because it's incredibly upset. No, Antiochus the Angry has died. A new king rises then. Diodotus, first of his name. This was, of course. Antiochus the third which in real life was I believe known as the great uh, just after his death um, so Antiochus the third was a very successful uh, successful real life successful um, Seleucid Emperor and our well King I guess at the time um, you know our real really successful one was the second so not quite following real life, but not that far off either, I've got to say. Do we need anyone else to retrain? We do. 
So, that good job we brought this guy across, because, of course, yeah. <laughs> These guys all actually have the uh, the upgrades. So, you know what? We'll just stand outside of Pergamon and wait with uh, my ass. We've got time, haven't we? we got a thousand years, my friends. But here we go. Most advanced. Nah, new faction leader. Big Diodotus. He, of course. What a man. Seleucid, of course, as well. Uh, and, yeah. He is now the faction leader. Victor in Europe as well. Confident. He is the king. Yes, yeah, very good. He's now got really good stats. For a 25-year-old, fair play. Really decent stats. Let's get the last couple of those guys retrained. And let's get uh, another Akantistai for garrisoning. And let's get the final ones of these guys trained. And let's do the same thing. And what's going on at Sparta? That's fine. Obviously, recruitment and all that sort of thing. All that gubbins. Antioch is still getting many, many cataphracts. Many cataphracts. Um, and let's get all of them out for now. <laughs> because, of course, we've got a very damaged army on the way. Ready for retraining. And uh, they need archers, I would say, if we are going back up into the north. So let's halt our cataphract production for now. Get you guys in there, and then let's get some Neocretan archers. Uh, let's have a look. We've got Sardis, got another Neocretan archer. So that is for uh, what uh, what Antiochus's army was. So let's get you in there. And let's also see if we've got space to retrain you, which we do. Good. So you can get the gold. Alexandria Prosphasia. Alexandria Ariana, one more turn for that. Pergamon also did get Scythe Chariots, very nice. Now, this army for Ermias does need one extra unit, so I'm thinking, looking at the army composition, probably a Scythe Chariot, so let's queue that up in Sardis as well. Karakata got that, so it is time to leave. Let's go with, I mean, Antiochus is 45, whereas Carpet... Mr. Carpet is uh, only 24, so it's probably worth sending Mr. Carpet out this way. Let's leave them behind. So, Mr. Carpet, you've got it. Oh, my God. It's going to take you so long <laughs> to get anywhere. How about Karakata in terms of leaving? Like, could we leave with the general? We could. That's good. That's very good because... Actually, no. We'll leave you in there to, to, to garrison to your dying days. And Perseus, one more turn and then Perseus can start going, which is good. Uh, and the building, of course. Ceasefire between the RDAI and the boy. We've got Ellis besieged. Got Olympia besieged, of course. And Kerasus besieged by the guys. <laughs> Atalos has just died in Memphis. Unfortunate. Chaos has died in Selge. Still happy, though. Uh, Antiochus Zabinas has died. Very sad. And uh, we've got Dinocratis the Handsome up here at Syrinx Trambax. So I think you should go up to Zadrakata and start garrisoning up there. We would make a lot more money as well if I went through every region and uh, sorted all the garrisons out. But yeah, that's, that's going to take a while, guys. I can't really be bothered by that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Not for a very long time, at least. I mean, I think we're fine with the garrisons in general because we do tend to move them or keep moving them. Uh, so you guys now keep coming. Probably going to get stopped by that goddamn city. <laughs> yep. Oh, well. One more turn. And, yeah, one more turn. That's fine. So we moved you. We've moved everyone in the north that we want to. Now let's have a look at Zaranka because... This was, this like, we pretty much had ownership of this for two turns at the start, and that's it. Let's first of all build the roads straight away. Does already have the first colony. It's actually Greek. Fantastic. So that's going to allow us to keep hold of it quite nicely, unlike how it was before, where it was really hold, uh, really hold, really hard to keep hold of. How are we looking down here? Um... Should probably go for that battle, so we will do that battle probably next episode rather than this one. No need to do it now. 
Uh, we are still retraining it and recruiting everyone over there. And we've got our ships, which have been surrounded by Antigonid ships. <laughs> so, kind of scary, but oh well. Now let's get this army by Zoilos. Zoilos, what a man. What a name, what a man. And uh, let's get up here. And what an army, really, as well. Very nice army. With companions, our first army that has, has companions. So, good. Uh, we've still got ships over that way, so I think you guys should go back. Because, of course, we're going to have... Uh, not Antiochus... Or, or Alketas now, I guess. We're going to have Ermias come across to Greece as well. So, absolutely rumbling on in Greece, aren't we? We are rumbling very nicely, I've got to say. You guys keep coming up. Through uh, the wilderness. Through the wilderness. Uh, and how are we doing here, then? I mean, all of these guys apparently can get retrained. I don't know what for. Doesn't it say... Uh, no. What's, what's, what's in here? Blacksmith or something? Or is it one of these? Upgrades missile weapons. I, I don't think it's that worth it. Uh, rather than just leaving and going for the settlement. So, armor heavy. Apparently we can still leave. leave. Aesis, what a man. He's only got one command still. And he has been leading troops and, you know... Charging forth for quite some time, so fair play. Let's come forward. Good. We've got so few men that it's going to take two turns to recruit two of those. Oh, my God. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Was not expecting something like that. Got you retraining in there. Good. You guys are not happy. Uh, go for that second Temple of Hera. Uh, were we recruiting? Yeah, we were recruiting some of these boys. So I think it's worth probably sending you up there just for now. And we need to also siege the city down. Get the ladders. Oh my god, oh, how many archers do you want in one siege, man? That's going to be fun to deal with. <laughs> Good lord. Good lord. Uh, yeah. But anyway... Yeah, those boys are fine. I think that's everyone we want to move, isn't it? So let's do our building and then we'll finish off. So if you don't want to follow the building, guys, and you have enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Uh, really boosts up these videos for everyone else to see. So thank you ahead of time for doing that. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the video because it it is quite fun, isn't it? We've had a few battles again, some nice little fun battles. So... Yeah, plenty, uh, plenty there for us. Let's have a look. So, Jimnias. Jimnias. Do, 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 do. Well, you are like a through road through the center here. So, I would quite like to upgrade the road. But let's first of all go maybe for like the sewer. Now, let's go for the law in Jimnias. Auto Spana over here. Uh, probably the Spice Trade Caravan. Sorry, should I say? Not the Spice Road. And how are we looking elsewhere? Antiochia Thoimamenon. Let's go for the Public Baths. Ariathon. Let's go for, I mean, just go for the Recruitment Hub again, I guess. There's not really anything we want to build there. By Thinion is very upset, so let's go for that one straight away. Try and make them happy. Uh, what's this? Unit oh, unit upgrades are available. Cool. Alexandria Susia. Um, let's go for the Odeon up here just in case, you know. Thebes. Oh, we forgot about our army down in the south. So it's probably worth going... And moving those boys as well before we leave. Uh, Naxos, let's go for a bit of extra growth. Kios over here, let's go for the dockyard. Like I say, one or two of those big expensive dockyards every time we go through. Let's go for the uh, secret police HQ there. Kos, and as well, like a few of the uh, great Agoras and Agoras and all that sort of thing. Uh, go Shrine to Havistus there. 
Amethyst. Amethyst. Probably not that much. That's very useful. Temple of Hera, maybe. Alexandria. Again, let's go Merchant's Quarter. Expensive building, but probably worth it in Alexandria. Paphos. Let's go for the Aqueduct. Get a bit of extra growth. Uh, Saloy as well. Temple of Hera, definitely. Wow, we don't even have that there. Pelusion. Let's go for the Odeon. Now Kratis over here. Let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Salamis up here. Uh, let's go just a cheap little shrine. Arsino Clisma. Let's go for the Agora. Arsino Calicia. Let's go for that law with the stables. We've pretty much built those uh, first levels everywhere, uh, which is kind of it's pretty good. Uh, Gars, let's go for the Spice Road. Cide, let's go for the Agora as well. Kaunos, let's go for the Dockyard. That was the Antigonid settlement we took from them that was on Anatolia. Telmesos, let's go for the Agora as well. Gadara, let's go for a bit of population growth. Samaria, let's go for probably a bit more corruption reduction. Ptolemaeus Foynike, let's go for the irrigation. Mylissa, let's go for practice range. Isaura, let's go for the Agora. Miletos, let's go for the river ports. Tyre, let's go for the Odeon. Sidon, Let's go for the irrigation. Bit of extra money and stuff. Chalcadon. Let's also go for the dockyard at Chalcadon. Probably got a few places that it's trading with. Let's go for the Agora there at Passa. Taioki. Let's go for that law building. Uh, Syrinx Tambrax. Let's go for the that building there. Again, Agora. Acadia Heraclea. Let's go for the secret police HQ. Bit of extra law. Uh, Aganzana, again, one that we've really not done that much with for a lot of the game. Let's go for the public baths. And Apamea Ragiana. Let's go for Shrine to Taiki. Kiropolis Caducia. Let's also go for the Shrine to Taiki. Uh, Harmosia. Nothing really going there. And yeah. Probably that uh, Militia Barracks in Akrabai. Is there corruption here? No, so no point in that, actually. Go for the Shrine to Taiki. Going to make an extra 42. Right then, well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Some nice little battles in there. We've slowed down on Greece slightly just for a bit of retraining. We'll get those guys moving. We're invading Greece with that unit, though. And then we're going to have this army as well go and invade Greece. We've also got about four armies up. Well, four, there should be four armies eventually coming up here once um, and Dragoras's army and Alketas's new army uh, sorry new Alketas's army start moving back up into the north as well which is great and uh, yeah we are going after there as well and then Atropatine needs to die at some point so we will probably have a cheeky little look at Atropatine and maybe betraying them at some point as well as well as moving out and taking a lot of these settlements in India but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please do like and subscribe. Like I say, it really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.